or someone would ask me the other day, she's like, what are you, they're like, what are you going to do when you actually find someone really similar to you? Would you get along? I was like, gosh, no, no way. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Happy New Year. So, Sam, my shower thought to you is how are you setting your goals for 2021? Sounds very similar to a question I think I broke down in the past. I think we've done how do you set goals before. Yeah. But I guess it's it's interesting because 2021 presents a very different environment to, I guess, uh, years that have gone before. Mm. You know, I can't say I've not many people have really lived and got to the beginning of a new year where there, where there's still a lot of, a lot of uncertainty that clouds the beginning of the, of the next one. So I think goal setting is going to be really, really important to keep people sane, but also it needs to, people need to know that it's going to be quite different to things they might have done before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, like it's look, going to be a different environment for you coming back to Sydney, new job or same job, but like new place. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be, it'll be interesting. It'll be essentially a, a, a different world to, mm. to hear, but yeah, look for me, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a massive pen and paper person. Like everything will go down in pen and paper first. Like just like a literal, like just dump my brain on the page and just see what I really care about. Like see what comes from the deepest parts of my brain in terms of, you know, what I, what I, what I, what I really actually want to, achieve because sometimes some things look, look really nice down in pen and paper and then you're like oh i actually don't give two shits about that mm. and other things you kind of all of a sudden you come up with which is like a random little thing but man that stuff makes you happy and you get to kind of factor that in so the way so i think the way you're yeah, so, doing it is you literally write down any goal that comes into your mind on paper and then you sift through it is that is that what you're saying yeah 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 so like the pen and paper, I guess is almost like a draft version. Mm. You know, it's not getting submitted, but you just want to get it. You just want to get down every bit of information that you can, you know, probably you might, you might only take what 50% of, 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 of that massive amount of content that you've, that, that you want to submit, but you're yeah. going to get the good parts and then you're at least going to cover all the information. So then, yeah, then I, I mean, just for, for ease of, of like checking in the, in the future and, and, and updating as I go, I will get it on my laptop. Because then you can kind of, you know, you can copy and paste the whole table, you know, add it to another document. And then you've got a whole duplicate set of goals ready to go that you can chop and change and edit yeah. and, and do along the way. I mean, you could do that handwritten if you, you kind of copy everything. But that's it. <laughs> I mean, I don't even have a printer at home. I don't <laughs> have to figure out how to, how to click the buttons on those things at work. Nightmare. Um, but yeah, so for me, I definitely, uh, what, what's the date now? 28th? We're a couple of days away from getting into New Year's Eve. Mm. Uh, I know, I think it's in about two days time. I've got some time set aside to do my goal setting for 2021. I think it's really important to set aside time and, and, and have some, some, some space to think and be creative and just lay it all out. Because like, yeah, it's, it's all going well. You can kind of quickly jot some things down that you kind of half care about that. Yeah, you could, you, you could try and work towards, but if you're not, like really kind of putting down things that, that matter to you, your, your, your determination to actually see them through will waver almost instantly as soon as you hit any kind of barrier. So I think, I think it's so important to, to set time aside, and actually figure out the bits that are important to you. Mm, yeah. Coming from that, like I've seen your goal setting and I really like the categories you have. Mm. So I guess, I mean that, yeah, that'll be from my, from, I guess my main, little template things that I would just run off anyway. And I guess it's been very much adapted from, I'm not sure if you would have heard it before, The, the Wheel of Life by Zig Ziglar. Uh, it's essentially covers like seven areas. Uh, off the top of my head, I'll see how good I can remember them. There's like a, there's family, and there's family on there. There's personal, financial, career, mental, spiritual. Mm. Oh, don't covers everything more. there. Yeah. Did I say physical? There's like, there's like the, the actual physical body part too. But anyway, so all essentially it's an easy way of covering areas. So it, all of a sudden you have, the, you have these kind of seven categories. Well, I've kind of chopped and changed mine a little bit, but it's like, yeah, it's a really simple way to do it. Seven categories. 
And then you can kind of have like a, a daily, a weekly, and then a monthly. Mm. And then you, and it's a really easy way of then, you know, 12 times a year, just kind of go over that again, beginning or end of every month, see how you went. All right, that went good. That went terribly. I didn't even think about that the whole time. <laughs> kind of sift through a little bit more, you know. And then, yeah, it's just, it's just a real simple way of, of covering all your bases, essentially. And in each of those seven things, so like for physical, would you just have one big goal and then you break that up? Or would you, could you have maybe two or three and then break that up? Um, I guess usually I break mine up a little bit more. I guess normally I'm doing a couple of little different things. Mm. Uh, so I guess for, for example, a, a good, a good way we can kind of break it up would be our, our move for site challenge. Yeah. So, you know, from the new year, it is pretty much, uh, almost what it'll be. Yeah. We're almost, we're almost a half flight. So it, that, yeah, it'll, it'll be almost six months essentially. So like that, that six month period will, will be the end goal that, that big overarching goal, finish the challenge. You know, so get, get through all the kilometers, get through all the weeks and just be there at the end and get across that finish line. And then you can, you break that down to monthly goals, you know, which for me is being able to, uh, you know, reflect, uh, evaluate and see how my training for that month actually went being able to, you know, each, each, each month as I need to kind of adapt and modify and kind of cover any bases that I thought were little weaknesses along the way or things that I think I need to get better at for the, you know, for the, for the coming month. Uh, we can break that down even more into, into weekly. So weekly is where like my actual weekly training schedule will come in and it's kind of, it's having the schedule set for the week and then executing the whole schedule. And actually keeping up with the training, if that makes sense. Yeah. And then that leaves, I mean, another thing there too, I guess not, not as related to, well, it is a little bit, but like the healthy eating side of things too. So I think that comes in, I think for me, that comes into physical fitness. People can, can put that goal wherever they want to. But for me like that, like eating right is how I'm going to finish that goal. I can't eat, I can't eat like a, I can't eat like shit. Otherwise yeah. I'm just going to train like shit. So for me, like that would come in there too. Um, and then daily, daily is a bit of a hard one because like it, you know, it can be hard to find things to work on every day for, for particular things. But for me, like some pretty simple ones with the running, uh, actually executing and committing to the sessions of that day, like maybe one or two and actually kind of being there, being present. So for me, like it, it'll, it might sound a little bit corny, but, um, like every, every, every single time before I get out in those training sessions, I think like I, I'm a professional athlete. Like this is what I'm doing. Like I'm, I'm hundred percent committed to this and I'm, I'm, I'm going to finish it. So it's kind of putting yourself like every day in that mindset of mm. like, they're like, put it. So there's no doubt in my mind that, that I'll, I'll see on the, on the other side of that finish line at 52. And it, and it's, and it's like constantly reminding yourself every day, like, no, this is what I'm doing. I, you know, this is, I, I, this is what I have to do to be able to finish it if that makes sense yeah no i like that i it's it reminds me of this ring i have which is just a quote which you've probably heard from, from before it says you are what you become and essentially if you're thinking yes bloody hell i'm professional i'm this, i'm gonna get this done like hell yeah your body's gonna wheel yeah. you to get it done especially when it's tough and yeah the the thing that i really like about your goal setting which totally changed my goal setting is those time frames just because prior to 2020, I would I would set goals, but it would be more like, oh, I want to bench 100 kilograms. I want to, yeah. you know, have a passive income, but I wouldn't actually make a little plan underneath it. And that breaking down each one into a plan into like monthly, weekly, and daily, what I found when I was doing like trying to achieve my goals this year was that if I just focus on the daily, the weekly looked after itself, the monthly looked after itself, and then the goal looked after itself. And instead of focusing on the big picture and wigging myself out real early or getting down in the dumps, focusing on the incremental small things is so important to achieving your long-term goal. And that's, I, I can't believe it took me this long to learn. I remember in school, <laughs> they always taught us like goal setting, like, oh yeah, goal set, here's your diary. I'm like, Pfft get that shit away from me, man. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> goal set, jeez, <laughs> no way. <laughs> but like it's... You, can, you can literally put whatever kind of like little cliche quote 
you want in there about, you know, concentrating on, 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 on the small steps towards the big stuff. Mm. But yeah, it's like all of a sudden you kind of, you're giving yourself small little bite-sized pieces of things you can achieve every single day. And if you can do that, all of a sudden the weekly stuff gets done automatically. And all of a sudden it gets to the end of the month. You're like, Oh man, I didn't even have to think about this stuff and it's all done. And yeah, it's like a, it just, it just makes like really big things uh, visible and achievable mm. on a day-to-day basis. And man, like just, if you can tick off those things every day, like, man, I don't know about you, but it's just the most refreshing thing. Oh, like you just so... like, cause you know, you, you're not, you're not guessing. Am I taking steps towards being the, or achieving the thing that I want to do or trying to become the person I want to be? You know, you're taking those steps. You can, you can look back on your day and be like, yeah, okay, I did, I did this and this, which I know is part of the plan to get to that. Like you, you're, you, you're not kind of shooting in the dark being like, where am I going with this? Like it's, it's, it's clear as day, you know, exactly where the pieces fit into the puzzle. And yeah, it just, it just kind of brings everything closer. Yeah. And to add to that, it, it works for, because, you know, it's hard to follow your goals the whole time. Like you have shit weeks and then having those daily, weekly, monthly things, it helps you get back into that routine instead of being like at times when i've you know i've had this goal and then three months later i'm like oh shit like how am i even going to do this like i'm so far from it but yeah same situation last year i'm like oh shit i i've been sort of lacking here i'm not going to reach my goal so i'm like all right what steps do i need to have i've got all this written down and just focus on those little bits and bang uh, yeah, I, I, I totally agree. And I, that just kind of, uh, prompts me to remember like another, another thing that I think is really the come kind of was a, was a game changer for me in terms of like goal setting. It was making a goal to be accountable to, uh, looking at my goals essentially. Mm. Like that's, that's where the, I, that, that kind of monthly review process came in. Like it was like, I got a little, you know, a little, little folder on my laptop called evaluations and you can kind of see them as they go, they're like, you know, I can see what goals had that month and how they kind of changed what I made, what I didn't make and little comments about it. And it literally takes me, you know, 10 minutes to tap away at that. And like that, that like having that goal for me, it's really one of the most essential things is that can be accountable to everything else that made everything else much more achievable. So that would like accountability. Uh, if, if you can do it yourself, amazing. You know, like I, I, I got good at it because, because I Maybe is I'm just my brain's just wired to work that way. Other people are terrible at it. Other people are way better at me that at it. And if you're terrible at it, find something to keep you accountable. I don't like it can be anything. It can be a mate, it can be money, it can be, it can be your parents, it can be a dog, I don't know, it can be whatever. Like <laughs> like for example, like Les, if 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 at the end of each month, if I haven't sent you my my monthly evaluations, I'll I got to give you a hundred bucks each month. I don't do it. I'll take that. There you go straight up. I'm going to do those evaluations every single time. And then 12 times throughout the year, I'm going to have a little refresher and a little plan towards what worked well, what didn't work well. And like what essentially where I missed the mark, where I did great, you know, like, yeah, it's a simple process, but it's un- until you kind of come aware of it and see how good it can be and, and, and how small effort is actually required into putting into that. Yeah, it's a, it's a game changer. Yeah, that's good. Another thing like to add on to that is like at my work, we had like a team meeting and this one guy brought up something quite interesting and it's gamifying your goals. So if no one knows what gamifying means, it's just literally making things into a game. Like, um, mm. like for example, you make your goals. It's, it's hard to think on the spot, but you make your goals like, oh, I'm going to you know, score five, five baskets each day from the three point line. If you're trying to get better at mm. basketball, like just gamifying it, making it, making it more fun, like leveling up yeah. almost making like, experience yeah, like rewards based systems as yeah. well. Like, yeah. Like little achievements you get to give yourself at the, at, at the end of a milestone. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Well, like, it, it takes the seriousness out of it and yeah. damn where I think humans suck at, at taking things seriously, but they're really good at playing games. Mm. So make it a game if that works for you. Exactly. Um, I guess it, it, it brings us to another thing too, which is, uh, I guess, something that, we, that, that someone told us. Uh, uh, I, can't, I can't remember exactly who it was, uh, but it was the concept of a moonshot goal. 
and uh, I, I, it came from a big company. Was it Microsoft? I don't know. I can't remember specifically. Um, but it was the idea of having one goal that is just like the most amazing thing that you can think of. And like, that's, it's your moonshot goal. It's like the thing that, yeah, the odds of, of getting it aren't great, but you got it there and you're aiming towards it. Mm. And then, yeah, man, if, if you don't make it all the way, meh, that's okay. But you had it there and tell you what, you get halfway, you, you still come a really, really long way, a lot further than you would have got if you hadn't have even tried to aim for that thing in the first place. And I mean, it just makes things exciting. You know, you can see where you want to be in 10 years. And then it's like Elon Musk had a really interesting thing. It was like, take something, take, take one of your, one of your goals that you want to achieve in, in years to come and spend six months trying to achieve that as fast as you can. And I was, and it was kind of mind boggling concept, but, well, <laughs> but not, it's also really simple too. But I mean, he's the man who is in the stead to be able to give up six months of his life to achieve whatever he wants to though. You know, mm. it's hard to compare, but it, and it's like, yeah, like you might not get there, but you'll be a lot further, you know, towards achieving that than you were six months ago. Yeah. It's, like, it's like, why wait? Why, why say in 10 years, I want to be this. Why not just try it? Although it might require like different experience to get 10 years, but like, why not just physically try as hard as you can right now? Exactly. And I mean, it, it means you have it in front of you. All of a sudden, you now know. It's not like a thought floating around in your head. It's there. It's in paper. You're accountable to it. And you can kind of form your plan around that. Like that, mm. that for me is, is, is the value in that. And you, you lose nothing by, by shooting far. You know, let's, let's, let's set a moonshot goal for us. The next Joe Rogan, Sam and Leroy, five <laughs> years time. We'll be let's signing out deal with Spotify. <laughs> that's, our, that's our moonshot goal. Yeah. We'll get that in and two we'll years. See how, yeah two years watch out baby amazing race come for it <laughs> don't let anyone know about that one yet yeah that's it. That's, um, get that one the down low <laughs> all right mate. i think you've done a, a pretty good job uh you're definitely one of the better goal setters i know and i'm sure you're you're always open for um to help other people so if anyone's listening out yeah. there just needs some tips some tricks feel free to dm us like yeah, we don't know everything, will... but we know something. Yeah, we're, I mean, that's, that's the whole goal. We're trying to learn as much as we can. And uh, yeah, I think, I, think just, I think I've been working on goals for a long time. So I've uh, like literally years and years. I wouldn't say I'm great at it. I think I've just stuffed up a lot. Mm. Like I've, I've, so much stuff hasn't worked. And I think I've, I've eventually found out what does work for me, what doesn't work for me. And it's kind of kept working with it from that way yeah so what might work what, what works for me may be the worst thing ever for you you know but it might also be a good starting point and I, yeah i'm so happy to be able to you know at least point something in the right direction 100 percent. and just to add on to that quickly i realized when we talked to christian um recently he said one thing which i'm definitely going to implement for 2021 instead of just saying the things you want to achieve what you should write down some things that you don't want to achieve or things you want to stop mm. some habits you want to stop that's a really good one actually yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So add that to the side yeah things you want to stop mm. all right mate mean, yeah the, that'll just give you more time to keep doing the things that you want to do exactly it's like one plus one equals two <laughs> no uh, one plus well, one mate. equals window <laughs> <laughs> all right well good question very fitting to the end of the year and everyone make sure you check out move for sight the case are getting up there it's getting <laughs> exciting it's getting hard and we'll yeah we'll catch up soon mate all right see you later